ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be getting into the scriptures and I want to talk about how we as believers can get back up when failure faces us. Sometimes in life, we're going to stumble and fall. Sometimes in life, we are going to make mistakes. There's going to be pitfalls and challenges that we all have to deal with. But the word of God is specific on what we must do to rise to higher levels for his kingdom. So I'm going to be jumping into the book of Proverbs and I'm going to be reading Proverbs chapter 24. And I believe that God has a word for you today. So Proverbs chapter 24 and I'm going to read verse 16. But before I jump into the Word of God and get into the Scriptures, if you have not subscribed to this channel and you are new, I encourage you to smash that subscribe button right now and jump on board with us. And I would be blessed to have you as part of this channel. And if you could put a like on this video as well, that would be a blessing to me. And so I'm going to be jumping right in. Proverbs 24 and verse 16. It says, For a just man falleth seven times and rises up again but the wicked shall fall into mischief. It says a just man falls seven times. You say, really, huh? What's that mean, a just man? God would say someone that's falling seven times, making mistakes, you know, not doing the things that he's supposed to do sometimes, doing, making wrong decisions. Maybe he failed in a certain area. Maybe he's weak in the faith in another. He's stumbling all over the place. He's falling seven times. How could God say that he's just? Well. The word just means righteous. You know, if you're a believer, if you're a child of God, if you're saved and you're born again, and you have Jesus in your life, you know what the Bible says? You are the righteousness of God and Christ. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21, you're the righteousness of God in Christ. You are his child. You are blessed. So it's, God looks at you as just. And if you are a just man and you are a true Christian, the Bible says that God will help you get up. It says the just man falls seven times and rises up again. So when you make mistakes, when you have doubts about your faith, or if you're struggling with an addiction, or if you have uh, tried a certain thing, a ministry, or you've been trying in certain areas of your life, maybe you started a business and it failed, or whatever it is, you, you, know, you failed in a certain area of your life. You know, we all fail from time to time. You know what? Before we reach our you know, pinnacle of our success. Sometimes we have to hit failure first before we reach that God-given destiny. So we are going to be rejected as believers. We're going to fail from time to time. We are going to make mistakes. We've got to stop being so hard on ourselves. So what does Proverbs 24 verse 16 say? It says, hey, look, it says, for a just man falleth seven times. Well, you know what? Nobody's perfect. There's no God juniors here. Even a just man will fall seven times, you know? fall in many different areas, many different aspects of our life. We're going to make mistakes. We are in that flesh. We're not perfect. We're just forgiven. You know, we have this Adamic nature that we're battling. The flesh wars against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh. We know it says that in Galatians 5, 16, that there's a battle going. The spirit's trying to get us to do God's will, but the flesh is wearing us down. And at times we make mistakes. You know, we do things that are, are erroneous. We do things that, you know, aren't pleasing to the Lord. But what do we do? We stay down. The just man falls seven times, rises up again. Are we going to stay down when we fall? Are we going to throw the towel in? Or are we going to go pick that towel back up when we fall? We need to get back up when we fall. Champions rise up again. God's saying, you're just. You've made mistakes. Get back up. I want to use you. I want to do something in you that's so great. And, you know, the Lord knows who we are. He knows our weaknesses and frailties. The enemy knows them too. And the enemy wants to trip us up. And when he does trip us up, we need to get back up. When he attacks us, you know, you need to say, you know what? I'm not going to let this mistake and guilt and, and all this shame, you know, wear me down. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cast it to the Lord. I'm going to give it to the Lord. I'm going to rise up again. It says to just me and fall seven times. That means we all make mistakes and we make multiple mistakes, you know, and Jesus, his blood will cover you. He'll wash you. It doesn't give you a license to sin. It doesn't give you the ticket to say, I'm going to go out and just sin and get more grace. You know, where sin abounds, grace much more abounds. No, we're not supposed to do that either. Book of uh, Romans chapter six and verse one says, 
What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. We're not supposed to just intentionally, presumptuously go out and just commit sin and then say, hey, I fell now, Jesus, you'll forgive me. No, that's not what we'll we need to be doing. God sees your heart. He knows when you make mistakes and you're serving him and you, you make mistakes. We get in the flesh. We can get apoplectic and get angry at somebody. We can, we can get angry and we can hold a little animosity and anger, maybe unforgiveness, bitterness towards somebody, and then we let it go. We are all human. We all make mistakes. The Bible says if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence towards God. You want to have confidence towards God? Just man fall seven times, you've got to rise up again. You've got to learn to, to receive God's forgiveness. You've got to have faith that God has forgiven you because he says he sacrificed himself on the cross. He's the propitiation of our sins. That word propitiation in the Greek means that he was the satisfactory sacrifice for you and for me. And so, you know what? You don't have to be down. You've got to receive his grace. That means we don't deserve forgiveness, but he gives it to us. We don't deserve eternal life, but he gives it to us. We don't deserve all these things, but God's love is so great because you're his kid. You're his child. He's your daddy. He cares for you, beloved. Those who are watching today, I want to encourage you. Don't feel guilty. You got to let the past go. You got to drop the baggage and say enough is enough. I'm going to fall. I'm going to get back up. And when I fall again, I'm going to get back up again. I'm going to keep going. I know I'm going to pray that God helps me not fall, that he helps me stay on track. But if I don't, you know what? I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I'm going to go to the Lord. The Bible says, come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may, we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. We come boldly. Come boldly to God. He says, I will pick you up. Just man falls seven times, rises up again. You know how you win champions? When they fall, they rise back up. You need to rise to new levels. That's Proverbs 24 and verse 16. Now, there's another scripture I want to read that's kind of similar. And, you know, there's a correlation there between the two. I want to give it to you. Proverbs chapter 27. I love this chapter. It's very encouraging about how God wants to bless us. We wait on him. We're going to inherit the earth. But there's a powerful scripture over in the book of, and it's a verse, book of Proverbs, or Psalm 37, verse 23. It says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. This is Psalm 37, verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. So the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. You know, your steps are ordered by God. When you're his, he, we are led by the Spirit of God. It says many as are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. You know you are led by God. You're his child. He leads you. And even when you get off track, he grabs you. He kind of gently pulls you back into his will somehow. He's like, come on now, child. This is the way. Walk in it. You hear that still small voice. He's telling you, go this way. Don't go that way. There's danger on the horizon. Be careful. God is always there. And he orders our steps. You know what? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him. And what does he say? He shall direct thy paths. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Beloved, here watching today, he wants to direct your steps. He wants to bless you. He wants you to stop with the stinking thinking and the condemnation and guilt and living under this baggage of, of the past and what you did. God has forgiven you as far as the east is to the west let it go. He's got the best for you. He wants you to have that joy. And when you can forgive yourself and you can let it go and you can say, Lord, you've forgiven me. I know I'm not perfect, but this is who you created me to be. You say I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. So I'm going to take you at your word. It says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, look at this. It says the just man shall fall seven times and rises up again. It says, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. The righteous aren't going to be cast down if you fall. It says, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Guess who's going to pick you up when you fall seven times? The Lord. When you're down on the ground, when you sinned, when you lost your faith, when you failed at something and now you are, are all so hurt, or when you're depressed, you feel lonely, when everything is coming against you, setbacks everywhere, when you're dealing with the demonic attacks and you, he knocked you down and he got you and you feel like the devil is winning and you feel all these injustices and you may be under some kind of false accusation or whatever it is and you've been hit from all angles and you're down, it says, though you fall, you will not be cast down because the Lord is going to pick you up with his hand. That means when you're on the ground, his hand's going to be out and say, Son, daughter, 
grab my hand. I'm ready to pull you up again. And he will pull you up seven times, 70 times seven, a hundred times a hundred, a million times a million. Every time you fall, God will pick you back up because he loves you. Let go and let God. Put the past behind you and go forward because Paul even had the most horrendous path, past, but he let it go and he put God first. And he said, you know what? I know that that's behind me. I'm a new creature because of you and I'm gonna keep following you no matter what. And that's what we need to do, beloved. So if this devotion encouraged you, I encourage you again to put a comment below and again, smash that subscribe button and I'll have another video up for you shortly. God bless.